The following stories are real. All suspects are morons until proven otherwise. This is a came from Evansville watch. This is my favorite part about Monday, where we get to stick, take a step back and look at all the craziness that has happened here in Evansville over the past week or so. It's true. Some of the lesser reported stories, stuff that you don't see in print. Stuff that you don't see on the websites. You only see them on Evansville Watch because mm-hmm. they're just that crazy. <laughs> Evansville Watch, of course, is a Facebook and Twitter organization. What they do is they monitor the police radio here in town. And when something happens, they will report on it. They will status update. They will tweet. They'll do whatever they have to do to make sure the community is aware. So we go through and we find the funniest of the funniest. Mm-hmm. And the ones that are just plain Evansville. Yes. So, Kat, what has come from Evansville Watch over the past week or so? All right, Rob, remember that I read these as they're written. Some of them are strange, some of them are funny, some of them are just plain Evansville. We're going to start with Dispatch. Three adult shoplifters in custody at Walmart at Burkhart Road. They had their children with them. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. With the kids. You think they teach them how to kid, like almost like riding a bike? Like these, It's a they, family affair, Rob. This is how you do it, little Jane. You put open <laughs> the purse and then put it under all of your belongings, not just on top. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, 3,700 block of Justice Court. Four males on bicycles, cursing at and bothering other people in area, and then saying that they will wait for police to show up, and then they will run. EPD advised multiple calls on these same subjects earlier tonight, EPD in area. I hope that they get caught. Agreed. Indecent exposure near animal control on Yulehorn. Near animal control. We've got a wild anaconda. We need this taken care of. Caller advises a male exposed himself to him and his children while they were walking down the street. Oh, and he had kids. Come on, dude. Mm -hmm. 1900 block of Taylor, child refusing to go to school. Officer en route to speak with him. Boy, this is not the first time this semester we've had this happen. It's not. I did not realize that you had to call the police to get your kid to go to school. I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss on that. I, I, again, it's 911. I don't know how to parent. Yeah. Uh, juveniles fighting at the entrance of St. Mary's Rehab. Parents are standing by, allowing them to fight. Officers en route. Really? Yeah. So do you think that that... I think that the people that are standing around watching their children fight are probably the same people that are having to call the police to get their kid to go to school. Right? And also shoplifting. This is like the family-friendly edition. This is oh like the, the mom and pop Evansville watch. Well... Kind of. Wow. You'll see what it is in a minute. So do you think... <laughs> see this? That's my sleeve. I have a trick up there. Cat's, cat's got <laughs> tricks up her sleeve. Okay. I mean, if, oh, what do you got, Cat? Wow uh, me. Welfare check on a male on Lark Lane that has put a car motor on a golf cart. <laughs> Neighbors are afraid <laughs> he will be seriously injured if it actually starts. What they didn't say is that they actually put the golf cart motor inside the car and now the car is moving really slowly. <laughs> All right. Suspicious male in the 4200 block of Ashton Park Drive area. Black male going door to door wearing an orange vest stating he's with Wow Cable. Caller advice she's called Wow and they do not have anyone in this said area. Officer en route. Creepy. Very. Uh, let's see. Northbound Highway 41 at Yokel. Older pickup truck with newspapers in the bed. And a small child sitting on them, holding them down. <laughs> Caller worried for child safety. And how great that it happened on Yokel. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's the most Yokel story I've ever heard. I know. Uh, we have two females fighting at Maxwell and Fairs. No weapons, just shoes. EPD en route. Hey, you know, we that's not the first time I've had shoes as a weapon here in Evansville either. No. They're already on our Evansville clue game. Yes. Um, we have four more, Rob. I lumped them all together for you. This is when things you start to get good, when Kat warns us. Check welfare call at Devonshire Apartments on Erie Avenue. Intoxicated male subject is stumbling around the complex and being loud. Okay. At Circle K on Columbia, intoxicated male by the dumpster. Folks tried to wake him, but he keeps passing out. EPD en route. It's nice of them to, you know, give it the old college try. Try to wake him up. 800 block of North 4th Avenue, intoxicated male stumbling on the sidewalk and another male passed out in the front yard. EPD en route. Okay. 1100 block of North Fulton, intoxicated male urinated in public, then fell down. EPD en route. (laughs) 
<laughs> is it all one guy? Do you think? I don't know. It's almost like but a superhero. I lumped them all together because it was there was just too much. His name's like Intoxicated Male, <laughs> and he just walks around stumbling all over the place. Can you wake him? Sle- sleeping deeper than a bear in hibernation. Yeah. Urinating more than a pregnant woman. Here is Intoxicated Male. Can you wake him? Nobody knows. <laughs>